And we're going to start things off with some tag team action. We have the Golden Truth taking on the Dudley Boys. And the Golden Truth getting things done as they, um, you know, have their bout, their sets of awkward matches, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but in the end, they've come out pretty strong, and you know, surprisingly to the uh, to the WWE universe here. Exactly, they're knocked off. Breezango to become the new number one contenders and get this matchup against the Raw Tag Team Champions. We're gonna see if they can take the gold. No pun intended. Um, and here come the champs. 10 time tag team champions at that. Again, the Dudley Boys defeated the New Day to take the titles the night after Extreme Rules in their rematch when their paper rematch ended in a disqualification because, yeah, there's some weird things there in that. If you guys want to see that again and re relive the awkwardness of that matchup, that's in the playlist. Um, yeah, I don't want to have to explain what happened with that, but hmm. we're going to see if this match... Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, no, it was weird, but... Alright, Dudley Boys are ready, and technically just realized something, but I'll bring that up later. Um, yes, alright, so Dudley Boys in the ring, they are ready to go. Golden Truth. All right. The other boys milk yeah, this all -time chance. Yeah, versus. Uh, I don't know. Awkward and more awkward. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. This seems accurate enough. All right, Goldust starting things off against Papa Ray Dudley. All right. Let's see, oh, big uppercut or big move. From Gold Dust right away. Thought Bub was going for a springboard move. <laughs> so I can turn there for a second. Going for a vertical suplex, but Gold Dust, the veteran, gets That's out true. of it. That's true, we can't deny that Gold Dust 2 is a veteran. Exactly, technically, all four men in this matchup are veterans. That's very much true. Gold, er, Gold Dust, especially, though. Being around Ford as long as we've pretty much been alive actually um, you know he's been yeah a good solid two decades or so I don't remember the exact number but Goldust has been around as long as we've both been alive oh when you've been around um, for two decades you could easily throw a man that size over your shoulder in exactly. such a way done it multiple times flies out of the ring Dudley Boy's making a tag again I always mention during tag team matches here in universe mode frequent tags are your friend in these kind of scenarios. Devon in shoulder tackle from the side, Watch knocking Goldust Gold down, Gold and drops the elbow on the lower back. Attacking the left arm of Devon. Some sl just, just splash. Oh, Whoa. misses the butt splash in the corner. That was weird. Um, a very uh, unique scramble that just took place, ending with Devon knocked on his knocked on his back, and both men now approaching Devon. Goldust tagged in this again. We figured this was gonna be an awkward matchup because uh, both tag teams have been part of some weird stuff so far in Universe Mode already. But we're gonna see our truth in control of Devon. Big clothesline. Double X handle to the top of the head. Nope, not, probably not the time to dance in the middle of ring truth, but let's see. Oh, swinging neck breaker. It's like our truth is paying for it. You know, we say he's a veteran, but sometimes he goofs off. Uh, he can make some rookie mistakes. Yep. <laughs> Step up in the gurry. And as I say it, I stand corrected. Yep. He can be serious when he wants to be. If only he could be like that all the time, you know? That is true. Though, we would be losing out on a unique performer. Yeah, Archie is one of the funniest guys around. Going for signature move. 
Devon Fersel. Big right hand. Flooring him. Devon, big reversal kick to the chest. Now on to the apron and Oof. Golden Truth the in control. The both are knocked down. Our Truth is on a roll. All right, we're gonna take a commercial break, everybody. As our Truth is, yeah, doing this. Well, interesting greeting oh, there. Gold dust. Getting behind, but okay. so does Bubba Ray spitting gold dust, 180 degrees. And an uppercut. In the corner. Stomp to the chest Going for a hip attack in the corner himself. Wow. Right. Both men escaping the same fate. Goldust taking the momentum right back. Turns him around. Puts him up. For the director's cut. Going for the cover. One, two, but he lets him out. I think he sensed Devon coming. Goes to take care of that, but gets hit. Devon uh, was psychically ready for that. That insecurity knew that he he didn't have to worry about Goldust going for the pinfall. Goes picks Goldust up. to break the pin, apparently. Goldust going for it. final cut. It's hit with the bubble bomb instead. Might be it for Goldie. I don't think it was a good idea to do One, it on our truth side like that. Two, no, kicks out. Oh, close line. Alright, Dudley Boys make the tag. Well, fun attacking Goldust. Another shoulder tackle. And Goldust kicking out again. Attacking oh, for truth. That's like it's the a ring. page out of our truth book. Spinning elbow. And a cold line from Devon. Cover on. Goldust again. And another kick out. That was a smart play. It's pin Goldust after our truth had been floored. Goldust this is his chance to make the tag. And he does. Our truth knocking down. Bubba to the outside after holding holds him back. Sees that his partner Bubba Ray has been knocked down. I don't think he's any happy about that. And wide attacker from out of nowhere doesn't completely connect, but enough. To plant him and was going for the end of going for the little Jimmy but misses. And the brain buster to our truth. Oh Jesus. Okay, um Define gets some airtime. Like really big airtime. I thought you were gonna start glitching out there for a second. Alrighty. Again, this match and stuff that we expect, but What is Devon doing here? Why is Goldust letting him? There Gold we go. Punching Goldust him. let him do it once before. Kick to the side in the ribs. Cover on our truth. One, two, three, but no, Dudley boys retain. They were able to stop it. I'm really interested in one, why Goldust didn't stop Devon the first time from the top rope. And two, Devon was able to take out both these men with enough time to get the cover before Goldust could recuperate, which was I smart on Devon's part. I think Goldust was still stunned, but... I definitely Golden think truth. that the lighthearted nature of the Golden Truth might change after Goldust's yeah. little mistake there. They get a rematch, and again, as we mentioned earlier, they get a... Oh yeah, every... One gets a rematch here with that. So I'm going to see what happens with the Golden Truth next time around. But for right now, Money in the Bank does these retain. And we're going to move on to our next matchup. Yeah, another SmackDown Live. 
title match here. This one, I'm the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. We have the champion Sami Zayn who won it at Payback from Danny's favorite person, The Miz. And I know it was a tragedy. Yeah, yeah, we know how that went. You guys can check the playlist for how the rematch went. But new challenger for Sami Zayn is the leader of the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt had some challenges last few weeks for Sami Zayn. Only the first one kind of went in his favor. Sami Zayn and The Miz. Right, but that. now, Bray Wyatt is going to be a part of the match instead of an interference in the match. Exactly, and Braun Strowman in his corner. Normally we'd see Luke Harper and Eric Rowan with them too, but they have to defend the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships against Enzo and Cass a little bit later on. It might be in this part actually, but we'll see. And then, so we're gonna get the champ out here now. Alright. Again, fan favorite and current Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Ready for his technically second title defense here as champ. Right, so Zayn looking as peppy as ever, which I can't blame him. I mean, he took that title from one of the greatest of all time, you know. Right, and as I was... I guess I'd be a little pompous too. That is true, pretty much. But again, what I was alluding to earlier is, as I mentioned in the intro of part one or beginning of this part for out where but clearly as you can see Danny is back here with me on commentary after yes I am and I'm as big a Miz fan as ever yes of course you are <laughs> I think the time away probably spent time with the Miz uh, you don't know maybe I did maybe I didn't uh, that means you did <laughs> but anyway. maybe oh Jesus I don't even want to know but, anyways, Intercontinental Championship on the line. Bray Wyatt, Sami Zayn, and the monster and Braun Strowman in the corner of this cult leader, Bray Wyatt. Alright, Eat of Worlds ready to go. And to take what he, as he stated, Sami Zayn took away from him in the Intercontinental Championship match break. Going right after him. Kick right to the back. Doesn't phase Zayn. Sammy is not happy. Pulls down the top rope. Zayn flies out. Come on, Zayn, this is your title on the line. You took it from the Miz. You have to retain it so that the Miz can take it back from you. It's only waiting for the Miz to get his revenge. I think that's what the Miz is probably hoping for because again, facing the Wyatt family and Bray Wyatt specifically is never a fun task as Sammy Zayn has learned over the last few weeks. Big chop in the corner. Bray Wyatt is down, rolls out of the way. Vertical suplex, first knee to the top of the head of Zane. To a float over DDT, planting the champ. Oh, Wyatt on his knees. Early taunting. Eerily, of course, probably saying a little chant here and there. And this is Bray Wyatt, he says very bizarre things. Yeah, it's been somewhat of a bizarre pay-per-view too, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, Maybe he's the one who's causing all these little phenomena. Yeah, there's that. That's a possibility. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to question it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Zane. it's best not to. Yeah, exactly. Now Zane, not in control at all during this matchup. Big reversal. And as I say it, here's a chance for Zane. Bray Wyatt. I'll try another move there. Him up into a backdrop suplex, dropping him on his neck. Crowd booing Bray Wyatt. As always, you, you know, that's that's the usual there. Pretty much another float over DDT from Wyatt. In control, Zane Smart gets out, gets back in. Attacking the knee, Bray goes down slowly. Zane up top, what's he going to go for? Goes 
for a Looks small like a flying headbutt. Pretty much, but kind of connected. Took White, Bray Wyatt down. That's all they needed to see. Big reversal. Going for the Yuranagi, but Zane reverses it now. To a Blue Thunder Bomb reversed by White. Reversal party the yet again. Time. Looks like Sammy can't get his move started. If only that was the case for his match with the Miz. Bray Wyatt finally hits the Yuranagi. This might be the end, but Sami Zayn with the kip up to an arm drag. Drags him to the center of the ring. For a snapper, we're going to take a commercial break and return back into Intercontinental Championship action. Money Showman in the bank. Has been what is this? Hold on. Bra Braun Strowman was ejected during the OK no. Miz. The match is over. The interference. Okay, Miz standing tall here. Sami Zayn going up. Still thinks it's the match, but the match is already over. Miz attacking both men. Sami retains the title, but Ron or Ron Strowman was ejected. But Miz escaping as Bray Wyatt gets to his feet. Uh, we're gonna sort this out. We're gonna move on to our next matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the main event of part two again. This pay-per-view will be, I think, five parts if everything goes according to plan. So, right, the final match in part two will be for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships between Enzo, Warren, and Colin Cassidy, or Big Cast. Still prefer that from NXT. But they will be taking on the current SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions in the other half of the Wyatt family, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. We saw moments ago how Bray Wyatt's attempt at the Intercontinental Championship went against Sami Zayn and Miz interfered. But we're going to see if Rowan and Harper can have better luck here in their title match. How do you think this one's gonna go? Mm. Enzo and Cass have great synergy, and Me sort too. of the Wyatts, but at times they could be at odds with each other. If there's one misstep, the Wyatts seem to be quick tempered with each other. That is pretty much facts at this Whereas point. Whereas Enzo and Cass seem to be a little bit more forgiving with each other if, they, if any of them make a mistake at any point in the match. And that could make a break, because it's. I think this one's gonna be a little too close to call. Right. So we're going to get the tag team champions out here. The crowd is behind the realist guys in the room. Self-proclaimed realist guys in the room. So we're going to get on with that here in a second. Right, and Harper and Rowan, okay, they just came out of nowhere wasting little time going right after Big Not Cass. appreciating all that talk. Exactly. And right to it, the match hasn't even started yet. The referee's not even in the ring for that matter. So this is breaking down. Okay, so things, I don't know. Why well, family I versus refs, refs not even attempting to get into the ring. Out of three big men and Enzo. Not a good combination for a referee, to be honest. So, I don't even think we're going to be having this match unless the referee can get some order here and a bulldog from the cast Ooh. referee getting back looks in looks like the referee's finally getting in right, now so the match is officially starting right, and so for cover already not even close and right so uh, Enzo so paying the price right there took his head off Rowan in control we're gonna take a commercial break with some Smack and Life tag team action, Enzo took control during the break. Which is Rowan, very surprising to me, to be quite honest. That control is not lasting here with a big boot. This is Chance Rowan makes a tag to Luke Harper. Enzo getting back into the ring, going up top. Not going to end well. Keeping the legs around. Harper going for a superplex from the top rope. This might and break Enzo in half. There we go. I think it did. Oh. Going for the cover. This could be it. 
or end zone cast. One, two, three, and that is it. Enzo is knocked out. Okay. By the superplex from wow. Luke Harper and the Wyatt family retain exactly what we were I... needing. Again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this yeah. pay-per-view. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Things are weird. Well. Yeah. Since there, that Enzo was a little unresponsive. Um, uh, I think I he might be dead. Did not expect something like that to happen. <laughs> I think Enzo may or may not be um, dead. But we're going to, I guess. I, I think the uh, the medical yeah. officials to check if Enzo's okay. Yeah, so we're going to yeah, we're way. gonna conclude part three on that awkward note. This has been weird so far, but if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we'll see everybody in part three. Thank <laughs> you.